The construction of Notre Dame de Paris, one of the most iconic Gothic cathedrals in the world, began in 1163 during the reign of King Louis VII. The cathedral was built on the eastern half of the Isle de la Cite in the heart of Paris, replacing an older church that had become too small for the city's growing population. Bishop Maurice de Sully, who was appointed Bishop of Paris in 1160, initiated the project as part of his vision to create a grand religious building dedicated to the Virgin Mary, also known as Our Lady, which gave the cathedral its name. The construction of Notre Dame took place over a span of nearly 200 years, although the bulk of the work was completed between 1163 and 1345. It was a highly ambitious project that involved multiple architectural styles evolving over time, particularly reflecting the Gothic style that emerged in the 12th century in France. The cornerstone was laid by Pope Alexander III in 1163, marking the official start of the project. Phase 1, the choir and apse, 1163-1182, the first phase of the construction focused on the eastern part of the building. The choir, apse, and ambulatory were built first to allow religious services to take place even while the rest of the cathedral was under construction. The choir was completed and consecrated in 1182. Phase 2, the nave, 1182-1220, after the choir was finished, work shifted to the construction of the nave and the western façade. The nave, the central part of the cathedral where the congregation gathers, was built to accommodate large numbers of worshippers, as Paris was already growing in size and importance. The structure was characterized by the use of ribbed vaults and flying buttresses, innovations of Gothic architecture that allowed for higher ceilings and larger windows. Phase 3, the western façade and towers, 1220-1250, the western façade, with its grand rose window and two massive towers, became the most iconic feature of Notre Dame. Construction on the towers and façade continued into the early 13th century, showcasing intricate sculptures, gargoyles, and religious symbolism. The towers were not identical, the southern tower is slightly larger than the northern one. Phase 4, the flying buttresses, 13th century, one of the most important engineering innovations of Notre Dame was the use of flying buttresses. These external supports helped to redistribute the weight of the heavy stone ceiling and walls, allowing for more light to enter through the large stained glass windows. The famous rose windows, especially the one on the west façade, were designed during this time, letting in colored light and creating a spiritual atmosphere. While the bulk of the construction was completed by the mid-13th century, additional work continued over the following centuries. In the 14th century, more decorative elements, such as the spire and additional chapels, were added. Notre Dame remained a religious and cultural focal point of Paris throughout the medieval period. However, by the 17th and 18th centuries, the cathedral began to deteriorate, and its architectural significance was somewhat diminished. Various kings and religious leaders made changes to the interior and exterior. In 1793, during the French Revolution, the cathedral suffered significant damage as many of its religious symbols were destroyed or looted. The building was used for secular purposes, and many statues and treasures were lost. By the 19th century, Notre Dame had fallen into a state of neglect and disrepair. In 1831, Victor Hugo's novel The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Notre Dame de Paris, brought renewed attention to the cathedral's cultural importance. Public outcry led to the decision to restore the cathedral, and in 1844, architect Eugene Violet Leduc was appointed to lead the restoration. Violet Leduc made several significant contributions, some of which were creative interpretations rather than historical reconstructions. He rebuilt the spire, redesigned certain parts of the façade, and restored the interior. His work helped solidify Notre Dame's status as a masterpiece of Gothic architecture and an important symbol of French heritage. In April 2019, Notre Dame suffered a catastrophic fire that destroyed the spire and much of the roof. The cause of the fire was determined to be accidental, likely related to ongoing restoration work at the time. The fire devastated large parts of the upper structure but spared the main bell towers, much of the interior, and many precious relics housed in the cathedral. French President Emmanuel Macron vowed to rebuild the cathedral, and an international fundraising campaign began almost immediately.
Efforts to restore and preserve Notre Dame are ongoing, with plans to complete the work in time for the 2024 Paris Olympics. The reconstruction aims to restore the cathedral to its pre-fire state, using original materials and techniques wherever possible. Notre Dame is one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture, distinguished by its innovative use of flying buttresses, large rose windows, and intricately detailed sculptures. Its façade is a masterpiece of symmetry and decoration, while the interior's verticality, vaulted ceilings, and massive columns give it a sense of grandeur and spiritual elevation. The cathedral's use of stained glass, particularly its three rose windows, is a defining feature, allowing light to fill the space with vibrant colors. The building also has an immense cultural and historical significance, having witnessed numerous important events, such as the coronation of Napoleon Bonaparte in 1804, the beatification of Joan of Arc in 1909, and various royal weddings and funerals. Today, Notre Dame stands as both a symbol of medieval ingenuity and a testament to the resilience of Parisian culture, despite the challenges of modern times.